All right, guys, so we're back on the uh, Bad Boy uh, ZT 60-inch uh, Elite mower here and uh, getting ready to start off on the mowing season. Um, guys, what I like to do before I sharpen blades is just go ahead and mow two times, mow my yard two times. This way I know that I got, you know, all the twigs and stuff because... Uh, you might not get all your twigs and stuff picked up if you got a lot of trees and stuff around your yard because um, you'd be kind of wasting your time of sharpening these and then going out on your first mowing and then hitting a bunch of little twigs or walnuts or apples or whatever you got laying around in your yard that you might have missed from not getting picked up. Um, so what I do uh, in the springtime is I'll go ahead and mow two times and that way I know I got all them twigs and, and uh, if there's anything else that's laying in the yard, I'll have that all picked up or to be all mowed up or mulched up or whatever. Uh, this way I'm not wasting time of sharpening my blades and then uh, on my first mowing and then uh, hitting all them twigs and then just kind of dulling up the blades here. So uh, that's one thing you can do, guys, is just, uh, you know, from your fall mowing, uh, before you uh, sharpen your blade, just go ahead and mow it two times in the springtime. That way you know you got all them twigs and stuff up out of the way. And you're not wasting your time by uh, sharpening your blades and then dulling them up real quick. Uh, that's the way I like to do it, guys. And uh, another thing, guys, on your mower decks here, when you got you take your blades off, uh, clean, the, clean all your grass clippings and stuff. Clean that mower deck up the best you can. Take a, What I like to do is take a scraper and uh, scrape all that stuff up off there and what i found guys uh just use some uh good old uh, cooking spray oil and uh spray it up underneath your mower deck there guys and uh this way it helps uh keep that grass the wet grass and stuff from sticking to the bottom of your mower deck um and, it, and it's quick you know and you're only a couple bucks for a can of this and uh you know spray your mower deck and you can probably get maybe two or three springs out of that and uh that way it helps keep that grass and stuff you know the wet grass and help keep wet grass and stuff from sticking to the bottom of your mower deck and uh i've heard of other guys they take uh used motor oil you could take used motor oil with a little with a little cheap paintbrush or whatever and brush brush a motor oil on there but uh you know that's a little bit a little bit of a dirty job and uh, a little bit time consuming uh, compared to just using this here guys uh, <clears throat> just get up underneath there spray this on kind of like an oil film help help keep your mower deck from rusting and stuff uh, this way and uh, it works out really good guys now I've tried some uh, other stuff where uh, it's called Modec I think it's called Modec and it's supposed to be some kind of a, a spray that you spray on the bottom of your mower deck. And it's supposed to help keep the uh, grass and stuff off there, guys. And I paid like 10 bucks a, a spray bottle for that. And it didn't work out very good at all, guys. I didn't like that stuff at all. It uh, actually, to me, it acted like it tra attracted more grass clippings and stuff than it did, uh, you know, keep helping keep the grass clippings off of there. It was kind of like a sticky film uh what they call modec uh and i think i bought that at like tractor supply or some somewhere like that and uh i used it a couple times and i didn't like it at all and like i said i went over to this uh went this way here guys and this works out really good any kind of cooking spray oil uh from dollar store or you know i picked this one up at myers so uh you know a couple bucks i don't know two three bucks for a can and uh that works out really good on that guys uh help keep your mower deck uh help it keep keep it from rusting and help helps keep the you know the just get up underneath there and clean everything off real good guys and then just take and spray that all down real good with that uh, cooking oil and uh it will help keep your mower deck uh from having all that grass and stuff sticking to it uh, I mean, that's the way I like to do it, and it seemed to work out pretty good for me, so uh, I thought maybe that helped some, some other people out there. And uh, also, guys, on on the, uh, 
I got another video out there, guys, on putting uh, these grease circs in the uh, the spindle here uh, for your mower, for your mower blades. And I want to go over a quick thing there uh, on that here in a minute. And also, guys, I uh, I think I got another video out there on this uh, uh, to make your stripes on your yard. Uh, this here broom, uh, this broom thing that I put on there that I mounted, I think I got another video out there. You can check it out if you want on uh, making stripes in your yard. But uh, this thing is really holding up real good. This will be my third or fourth year on that broom. And uh, it's, it's, it's working out real good. Before, guys, I had a piece of rubber. What I had was a uh, real thick, like, uh, horse mat rubber that I bought at Tractor Supply. It was real thick stuff. And uh, I ended up bolting it to the back of the mower deck right in here and the problem is guys every year i had to replace it because it always after a while it ends up you know you're going you're moving your mower deck up and down all the time and it ends up uh uh ends up cracking that rubber right there at the edge of the mower deck and then it just it would just fall apart and then break on you or on me so uh this broom deal you check my other video out on that if you're trying to make stripe a cheap way to make stripes in your yard. And guys, this this thing here is working out really good. I'm I'm real happy with uh, the stripes I get in the yard, and then also I'm real happy with the way this thing is wearing. Uh, it's not wearing at all. I've had no issues with that whatsoever. Um, so if you want, you can check my out one of my other videos on this here bad boy mower on mounting that up i think i got a little more detail on how i mounted that and stuff but uh anyways getting back to this here uh those grease circs on the uh mower shaft here or on the uh spindle here guys um <coughs> one of the things i forgot to mention on that when i put that uh grease circ in there you got to tear this all apart because you're going to have to uh if you're going to do your own grease circs and uh, drill your hole in there and take and tap it in you know take a tap you'll have to tap that and that way you can screw in your uh your grease circ and uh you know you take your sleeve or your your dust sleeve or whatever you want to call that uh, the seal that goes around the bearings that fit inside the, that are inside the hub you want to take those uh those seals out and just leave your uh, outside seals, the ones that are facing outward, leave those seals in place. Uh, this way you're getting your grease worked inside your bearing here. And then also, guys, there's a sleeve in that that fits over top of the uh, spindle, the spindle shaft here. And uh, what I did, guys, I drilled a couple holes in the sleeve. This way, when I grease that, it's forcing the grease inside this sleeve so this sleeve doesn't start rusting fast to your shaft. Because, guys, if, what will eventually happen on these, and I've seen it before on a, another mower on one of these bad boys, where the uh, that sleeve actually rusted fast to the shaft, and then they couldn't get it tore apart. So they ended up having to buy the whole the whole assembly. Um, so if you just drill you a couple holes in that, if you're going to put you, because uh, you're going to have, like I said, you're going to have to tear this all apart anyways, because you don't want to get aluminum shavings inside your bearings when you do your drilling, because uh, you'll have to drill that, tap it, put your grease circ in there, drill you a couple holes in that sleeve where you got it tore apart. Uh, that way it'll it'll force that grease inside inside that sleeve which goes over the shaft right here and that way you won't have to worry about that rust and fast in there uh over your uh shaft there guys so uh, i don't think i mentioned that in another video i got another video out there on uh on uh putting these grease circs in uh on uh installing grease circs on your uh spindles for your uh bad boy mowers because they don't come from the factory with the uh 
research in them, guys, and uh, I like to keep everything greased up. This way I get a long life out of them uh, them bearings and stuff. I don't have to worry about changing them. Because, guys, I had uh, a couple, I got a couple old Simplicity mowers, and uh, the old Simplicities, they had the grease zerks uh, from the factory built into the uh, spindles. And I tell you what, guys, I got a lot of hours, lots and lots and lots of hours uh, out of them bearings on them old Simplicities uh, because you was able to grease them. And, uh, a lot of these newer mowers, like this bad boy here, they didn't put the grease zerks in there. I wish that's something that they would have done. Um, so I went ahead and did my own, put my own in there. Uh, before I was doing, before I put these grease zerks in, guys, every two, every two years I would tear this, I would take this spindle out, and then I'd tear everything apart, and then I would, take this sleeve off and i noticed my sleeve was actually starting to get a little bit rusted to my shaft and that was after about the first two years i had this mower uh i think after i had like 100 150 hours on it i thought i'm gonna go ahead and take that all apart and take a look at it and maybe grease that up and uh because that's the way i was doing it guys about every two years I would tear this thing all apart and then grease everything in here by hand. And uh, so then that's when I thought that last time I did it, I thought it'd be just a better idea just to go ahead and put a grease zerk in there, drill a couple holes in that sleeve, and that way the grease will work its way inside there, inside this sleeve, and this sleeve will not rust fast to your shaft here. So... Uh, that work that seems to work out really well. This way, I'm not having to tear this thing apart every two years and pull the the seal out of the bearings and uh, regrease the bearings and uh, regrease all this inside here, regrease this shaft. Uh, this way, with the grease zerks, uh, all I gotta do is usually what I do about eight to ten pumps of grease on a on a grease gun about oh about three times a year. Because I only average about 50 hours, 50 hours a year of mowing. We got about three acres here we're mowing. And uh, it don't take long with a 60-inch mower deck when one of these zero turns. But uh, anyways, guys, that works out really good on that. And uh, I thought I'd throw that out there. I don't, don't think I said anything in that other video about uh, drilling two holes in this sleeve here. So your grease will work its way inside the sleeve and it won't rust fast to your shaft here. Because if you tear one of these apart, guys, and you haven't had this apart and you got a lot of hours on this, you're probably going to find that that sleeve is probably frozen to that shaft right there. And then, and then what a lot of people will have to do is they end up having to buy this whole assembly here. And uh, those assemblies, I'm pretty sure, you know, I don't know what the price is, but they're probably pretty expensive. And then if you gotta replace all three of them, you're you know you're gonna be into some money there. So uh, by doing the grease zerk uh, in these, it's gonna save. Uh, you know you're gonna get a lot of hours. You get a lot of hours out of them bearings and uh, keep everything uh, nice and uh, lubed up real good with the grease and. Uh, this way you're not having to buy this whole assembly when you when they do go bad and uh it will give you a very long time of service life out of one of those by putting them grease zerks in there guys so uh so anyways guys i thought i'd throw that video out there help somebody out uh hopefully that'll help somebody out uh especially on those uh those mower decks it's got the stamp steel decks are real thin real thin decks on some of the cheaper mowers um using that cooking oil guys is going to really really add a long life to your uh mower deck especially on them cheap ones these here uh i forget the thickness of these but they're uh they're really nice uh heavy duty uh all welded uh, welded deck they're not pressed uh not pressed in they're real nice uh solid you know iron deck and uh, you'll get a long life out of one of these here type decks uh, 
but on some of the cheaper mowers, guys, they got them pre what they call the pressed uh, stamped uh, mower decks. They're not real thick deck, and they will rust on you pretty quickly if you don't keep that wet grass up off the uh, underneath your mower deck. So uh, that's something you want to keep in mind, there, guys. If you got one of them, but uh, you know, uh, you know, fifteen hundred dollar mower, thousand dollar mower. Uh, more than likely, you're going to have one of them pressed uh, pressed decks on there, pressed steel decks, and uh, they will definitely rust out on you pretty quickly if you don't keep that uh, wet grass and stuff off there. So, uh, you know, use that cooking oil, guys. That's you know, putting a little coat of oil on your, uh, or like I said, you can use the, uh, you know, if you got used motor oil and you want to take a little brush or whatever and brush it on there that will help save your mower deck as well uh from rusting out on you and stuff but uh that doing it that way guys it's kind of messy uh, like i said i did do uh the motor oil type the old used motor oil i had some and i tried that on a couple of my uh push mowers that i got and it worked out really good but like i said it's a real messy job uh versus the can of uh cooking oil spray works out real good uh just a nice cheap way of doing it and uh works out really good guys so um so there you have it guys hopefully that'll help somebody out uh maybe uh somebody didn't know that there's probably other videos out there on that i don't know i didn't check it out check any videos out but uh that's something that i experienced and uh something i thought of that would uh, help keep the grass and stuff the clippings and stuff up off that mower deck uh, especially if you're mowing in wet wet grass uh, so far this season here uh, we've been definitely in some wet uh, quite a bit of wet conditions so i've had to mow a couple times now with some wet grass um, but with that cooking oil on there it really uh really helps keep that grass and stuff off there guys so so there you have it, guys. Uh, I guess I'd wrap it up on this video, guys. And uh, I guess we'll uh, catch everybody on the next one. Have a good one out there, guys.